here. You know, I, there's probably a, quite a few of you out there thinking, well, maybe it's time to quit riding. Maybe you've never taken any kind of training. You're riding a big, heavy motorcycle, and every day it feels bigger and heavier. Well, it doesn't matter how old you are. This past weekend, I had two riders. One was 76, one was 73. Neither had ever had any kind of formal training. They started off, it was pretty shaky, but two hours later, well, you're gonna see for yourself. These two older guys, and I mean, they were, they were so old, they were calling me kid. I le they left the class three times the rider they were just a few hours before. So you're never too old to learn. And also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some, well, some detailed tips because I know many of you, if you got a Harley Davidson especially, you're gonna have similar problems to what I've had on my older Harleys. So take a look at this. This area right here, is pretty much a problem on every Harley Davidson. I've got the seat pushed out of the way so you can see this, but it's not impossible to get this out. A little wet sanding and buffing, and it'll look like new. But also on these side panels, it's the same thing. The seat rubs right over here, and it, it just mars the finish. Can you get that out? I think you can. Well, at least I did, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. Now here's our two senior riders going through exercise one. And as you can see, kind of straight up, very tentative, Rider on the Gold Wing course, that's a more difficult bike to ride than the Road King because of its size. And he has similar problems trying to ride with the bike straight up. And it's very common, regardless of your age, this is very common if you've never taken any kind of training. You have this fear of turning those bars quickly because you don't want the bike to lean. But you got to make it lean because that's what it was designed to do. He goes to make the U-turn, he looks straight, and of course he goes straight. Okay, you made it through a couple of them, but you, you tried to keep the bike straight up. That's not helping. You gotta, you gotta turn them fast and you gotta pick up speed. When you got into the U-turn, instead of turning your head and looking between those two green cones, you look straight as if you were making a left-hand turn, and of course the bike went straight. Very nice, very nice. Turn that head now all the way. Look between those two cones. Nice, nice. Very good. Turn that head. Just two hours later, we're into the intersection. 20 foot turn you just That's made. a series of left hand U turns, quick transitions, and it's amazing the difference. Foot turn. Just three techniques, folks. It's not brain surgery, head and eyes, friction zone, a little bit of pressure on the rear brake, and they're making 19 and 20 foot turns. Do they still hit a cone once in a while? Sure, but that's what the cones are for. Just a couple of hours later, a little bit of practice in the techniques. It's amazing, the transformation. We've got openings for this Sunday, November 10th. It's still only 150 bucks, the best money you'll ever spend on your motorcycle. Go to Ride Like a Pro and sign up. All right, this is just a quick detailing video. I'm going to show you how I do this. I hope the camera will pick this up, but this is the side panel for my 20... 07 uh, electric glide and it this happens on a lot of Harleys on these side panels the seat rubs against the side panel and it it sort of scuffs it and puts scratches in there's some other scratches on here like this I believe that's through the clear coat but uh, I don't think I'll get that out but I'm gonna make this panel look as well as close to like new as I can and I'm gonna do that by first wet sanding it with 2000 grit and then polishing it out and buffing it out and uh, we'll see what happens. First thing I do is spray some soapy water on it. Then I get some 2000 grit sandpaper. And uh, I've sped this up, but I'm not using much pressure at all. Try to get all the places where there's any kind of marring. And this is what it looks like with the wet sanding done. As you can see, it's scuffed pretty good, but that's what the polishing compound is for. And I used a turtle wax compound I like to put the compound on a pad first and spread it around. And also, I'm using a buffer here, but you can do a small panel like this by hand. Just going to take a little bit longer. Well, all right, it looks uh, 
absolutely fantastic compared to what it was. Almost as good as new. This was the, the final step right here. And that's the turtle wax, ceramic black wax. They have it for different colors, but it works beautifully. That's my final step after the compound and polish. Here's the side panel on the bike. It looks almost brand new. It's an amazing difference. It took maybe 20 minutes of wet sanding, a 2000 grit, and a little polishing and buffing, and it's almost like new.